Hi Libra, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tower reading. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Let's see what God, angels, and universe has for you, Libra. Yeah, Libra, Ace of Pentacles. Mm, Knight of Wands, Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, uh-oh. Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Y'all are arguing over some money. Oh, sorry, not money. So, uh, what I'm hearing is that somebody promised you a new beginning and then reneged. And you kind of fell for it all over again. Like... Y'all had this new beginning. You were excited. Everything was going to go good. Your person came in passionately and exciting and enthusiastically. Then they left. Then you had to turn your back on them. And with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords, that's basically saying, you know what? I'm tired of dealing with this bullshit. I need to just let this, this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius go. Um, They always come back to me said, doing the same thing. I keep falling for the same thing. I mean, this I just read for Aquarius and it was the same vicious cycle. Right. So now that you've had to walk from this per away from this person yet again, right? Now you're all closed off and it's like, yo, I'm not gonna fall for this shit again. But in looking at this card here, <laughs> they're gonna try it again. Libra. Sorry to tell you that, but I feel like they're gonna try again. You got two movement cards. I mean, you got three movement cards here, so yep. Yeah. yeah. Seven of swords, they not done. Sorry, Libra, they're not done. You got the Eight of Cups again. Somebody who you have to continuously cut off because they're not doing their part. They talk a good game. They come in maybe for sex and they stir your emotions. But as soon as they come in, they stir to get what they want and they head back out. You know what I mean? And you try to walk away from it. But I also kind of feel like, too... This is somebody who's significant to you. It could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. But this is someone with Ace of Pentacles and then also the King of Pentacles here. I feel like you're viewing this person like they're the King of Pentacles, but they keep showing you they're this knight. You got three knights and the chariot on the table. So I feel like there's a lot of movement, inconsistency. And for some of you guys, yeah, you could live at a distance from this person. Um... Wow, this is ugly. This is, and I say this is ugly because I feel like there's a lot of mental anguish here and stress, right? I feel like for a lot of you guys, you just want this person to be honest with you. Just tell me if you're going to stay. Tell me if you're going to go. Tell me something. And I feel like this person is being incredibly deceitful because they'll be they'll say to you something like, oh, yeah, I'm going to stay. And then when they're headed out, they be like, oh, no, I'm just going for a minute. And you don't see them for a while until they return the next time to do the same thing all over again. Yeah, this person could travel for work or, you know, travel in general. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may be trying, you may want them to stabilize and or commit. Um, not only that, but with this King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles to me is real trustworthy. So I feel like this person might have given you their word. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be moving where you are next year. We're going to be together, whatever, whatever. But with all these damn knights on the table, right? These are the quick moving knights too, not the Knight of Pentacles. But it's almost like with all these knights on the table, this person is not doing what they say. Their actions and their words are just way different, right? And then they know how to get back in because they appeal to your emotions. Yeah, they're making false promises. This is a lot like the um, Aquarius reading I just did. A lot of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, you have cancer on the table and that's your only major arcana. So that, yeah, says to me that this has everything to do with you as a human, 
versus, you know, uh, universal interaction. Ugh, so let's see what your clarifiers are. Excuse me. Oh, Ace of Pentacles on Ace of Pentacles. Libra, honey, you know you need to kick rocks and get rid of this. I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, if you move on and move away from this, so much opportunity is going to be available for, to you. I feel like for a lot of you guys, maybe you needed to watch this video to receive confirmation and validation that yes, you need to move on. And I'm happy to tell you, Libra, go for it, honey, move on. Look, the, the, the high priestess, that's cancer. Yeah, you guys know deep down who you're dealing with. You, you know that it's not the king of pentacles. You know what I mean? And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you feel like you're walking away from the king of pentacles because you're like, oh, we're supposed to be together. You know, this is my person. You know, he said we were going to get married. He could have told you everything under the sun, but what he actually does, right? Not only that, but what he's doing behind your back and in, sec and in secret, that's unfortunately the part that matters. I mean, you got the Eight of Cups here twice. Uno, dos, right? Look at that, the Knight of Swords. That is the fifth, fourth night, right? But the fifth moving card on the table. Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you guys are working on yourselves because you're tired of falling for this over again. Not yet. A lot of you guys are tired. Look, devil card. That's a toxic, feeling powerless, addictive. Um, uh, what is the word I'm saying? Uh, feeling bonded, feeling, you know, tied to something. But I feel like, you know, you need to walk away. And yeah, because look at you here. You got the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. And then you got the Knight of Cups. And then you got the Seven of Swords. They know how to come back in and, again, kind of emotionally disarm you. And then when they do that, they just walk away again. You know, they kind of dip out again and you're left like stressed, like, yo, why do you keep freaking doing this? Why do you keep doing this to me? So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're now, some of you guys have just figured out, even watching this video, that your person is doing this in the first place. Like you just figured it out. And it's like, now that you figured it out, you got to, now that you know, you now you have to figure out how you're going to get yourself out of this toxic situation. If you're going to walk on, walk away, yes, walk away. Take baby steps. Go slowly but surely. Okay? Not only that, but once you walk away, right? Once you get a nice stride going, you got, look, the Ace of Pentacles twice. You A lot of you guys could be getting a new job. You know what I mean? New job, new job offer in another city, another state, just someplace at a distance. And... Some of you guys also, too, could be delaying taking a job um, in another city, another country, another state because of this relationship, right? Your person is inconsistent. It's like, well, you know, he's not supposed to come with me and I don't really want to leave him behind. Girl, if you don't get on, because one, two, three, four, moving nights. Let me go on and hold them up for you. It's almost like you don't want to make a move unless you have like their blessing, but they're not consistent enough to give you, you know, that constant love and desire, love and um, support that you need. So I feel like Libra, you're going to have to, to, to make this decision on your own and for yourself. Okay. The eight of cups, you guys may actually wind up walking away from this because you just can't take it anymore. You're done. All right, Libra, that's all I have for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you, bye.